All right. Let's see if this is going to be a little bit better. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hello there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to take two, <laughs> as Joe pointed out, of seven minutes in the morning, getting this week started off with a bang. So is this better, Joe? Less uh, less Godzilla movie, more like real life? Had to, um, to do something you don't have to do very often with a Mac. I had to reboot it. But anyway, now it's working. Hey, listen, if you're watching uh, anywhere other than Facebook Live, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. 7minutesinthemorning.com. Get you to the right place where you can join in the conversation. Do what Joe has done. Say hi. Leave a comment. Say hi. Uh, let me and everybody else who's watching now or later know that you are here. So this week, I'm going to have to hurry up and get into it now so I can run out the door and go do radio but um this week we're talking about fear and today oh today the the topic i want to hit today is fear of failure we'll go we'll go ahead and hit that but i and, and actually i mean today's a great example right if if i had if i had eliminated all fear of failure i wouldn't have started the show the first time but, you know, I did. So, hey, let's see if we can make this work. Nope, not going to work. Plan B. And then you go on to plan B. You know, I had the opportunity to give a talk to um, at UAH last week. And <clears throat> um, one of the things that I pointed out to the kids there is that um, failure is how we learn. All right? Think about it. When you're learning to ride a bike, you fall off. When you're, when you're learning to speak, you mispronounce words. Um, and, and we have, over time, we have developed or taught, really, into our kids this idea that failure is a bad thing. But the reality is that failure is how we learn. Now, if we fail at something, if we say, this is what I'm going to accomplish, and then you pull up short on accomplishing that and say, well, screw it, I'm not going to do it anymore. That's failure. That's losing. Right? James Dyson, in fact, I have one, pieces of one laying here on the floor, one of his devices, a Dyson vacuum cleaner. Did you know, I was looking this up the other day, 5,126 failed prototypes. 5,126. If you do the math on that, and he came up with one new prototype every day, 365 days a year, it would take him 14 years, 14 years to get through 5,126 prototypes. And so was it worth it to keep going? I mean, if he'd tried one or two and it didn't work, it's like, well, nah, screw it. I'll keep using this old crappy vacuum. Right? First of all, we wouldn't have the Dyson vacuum cleaner. Second of all, he wouldn't have a four and a half billion dollar company. I mean, fear of fail, do, not doing something because you might fail is, is kind of crazy. Now, what if failure leads to physical harm? I hear you saying that. Okay. You, you, you have to weigh the risks and the rewards. I mean, it's that simple. There was fear of failure, certainly fear of failure. When we went to the moon. I tell the story about um, uh, about my, my parachutist friend. He said he's afraid every time he jumps out the door for about seven seconds. And then after that, everything's cool. Just enjoys the ride down. Certainly there is fear of there can be fear of failure. Fear doesn't have to immobilize us, though. Right? So remember, from yesterday, fear is just your brain telling your mind, hey, you need to pay attention to this. All right? So don't be, don't 
don't get that signal from your brain and then go, whoop, uh, I need to stop. No, you just pay attention. You evaluate the risk and the reward. I mean, you, you do your best. You know, I mentioned this to someone last week, too. You know, a lot of people call, think of entrepreneurs as risk junkies, right? Like we just, we, we, we get a, a rush off of, of taking crazy risk. That, that is not true. We do our best to mitigate risk, right? But we are not afraid of it. We don't see risk and go, hmm, yeah, I better not do that. Okay. So when you think of any time you, you approach something and you think, oh, I might not make it. Yeah. But you might learn something. If fear, or I'm sorry, if failure is how we learn and then you approach something and you have this, this shot of, you know, fear of failure, consider what you will learn from that failure. As you're doing your risk reward analysis, is the reward of what you will learn worth the risk? That way, even if, even if failure occurs, so easy, it's easy to say the reward if I'm successful is up here. And what we've been trained to think of is if I don't achieve this, then I'm way down here. No, you can achieve this if you're successful and this if you learn from that failure most of the time. So don't be afraid of, don't, don't let the fear of failure rather, um, paralyze you, prevent you from pursuing something. Just use it for what it is, a signal that you need to pay attention. All right, that's it for today. Got to hustle up so I can get down and do the radio. Got to have a uh, guest on today, I believe Dr. Gandhi from Catisfaction Cat Clinic. You should tune in and join us for that one. That is, you can find that at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. I, oh, one more thing. Uh, before we go, this Thursday, my friend Stephen Levy and I have been doing a series of events called Coffee and Coaching. The last one is coming up this Thursday, last one for this year. We'll start another series in the spring, but we're going to wrap things up for this year. This coming Thursday, it'll be a, it's a breakfast meeting, 7.30. We're going to talk about systems, the strategies for systemizing Success. So if you'd like to join us for that, go to coffeeandcoaching.us, coffee and the word and coffeeandcoaching.us. You can pick up your ticket there. Otherwise, I'll be back here tomorrow, Wednesday, with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. <laughs> Till then, you guys have a great Tuesday.